Hi, honey, how are you? It's Technicolor. Today, I have another speed build for you. And this time, it's kind of exciting because you can join in on the fun too, because I'm hosting my very first chill challenge. Let's check it out. So on my birthday, it was unlocked by my Twitch chat that we would host another shell challenge. And I mean another because this isn't technically my first hosted shell challenge. It's my first designed shell challenge. But the first shell challenge that I ever hosted over on my Twitch channel was actually one that my moderators had designed for me. So each of them had created a room and then I and whoever wanted to join in had to puzzle them all together and come up with a build. And once all of the rooms were puzzled together, you couldn't change the exterior walls, but you could change the interior walls. And it was chaotic. It is as chaotic as it sounds. It, it was intense. A lot of people had started to work on it and then decided against it. But we did have a fair amount of people who had created something, whether that was a house or a restaurant or whatever, people came up with things and it was honestly kind of amazing. I was blown away. But this time I wanted to do my own shell challenge. I wanted to host it myself. I wanted to design it myself. And I came up with this. So <laughs> I did this on stream. I created it all together with my Twitch chat and some people had some thoughts as I was doing it and we 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 might have adjusted some things but this was the overall product of it and then I also started decorating it on stream so once it was built I put it on the gallery which you can find under hashtag tech for shell or if you check my EAID technicolor um spelled the same as it is here you, you can find and download the shell yourself. But I started working on it on stream and I know a bunch of other people did too. And I know at least one person has already submitted, but it's been very fun because there, there's there been people talking about them currently working on it whenever I'm streaming or if people will just like message me. So it's been very exciting. And if you would like to join, you are more than welcome to. I do have some pack restrictions, but the overall due date is May 4th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. It needs to be submitted to the gallery. And that's solely because I have a stream scheduled for then and I'll be touring everyone's builds. So if you would like to also come to that, I'll be dropping my Twitch channel URL down below, but it's twitch.tv forward slash Technicolor and we're, we're gonna tour everyone's builds. So very exciting. Very exciting. I actually got into shell challenges because of Little Simsy, which I'm sure pretty much everyone knows who Little Simsy is, but Little Simsy had done a few shell challenges and I was like, what is this? Because I was still kind of fairly new to The Sims. I didn't really know anything about it. I had done a legacy challenge, but the two houses that I had were built already. So I got one from the gallery and my boyfriend built one for me. And I I didn't really build anything. I would go into build mode and adjust things, but I never built anything by myself. So I thought decorating a shell would be the perfect segue into building. And it kind of was. <laughs> and I always tell people whenever we're doing a shell challenge, which again, this is only my second shell challenge ever, but my first designed. I always tell everyone the point of these is to have fun because I feel like there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm not a builder. I don't really have the best design sense, but just decorate it. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but when I was a little kid, I would rearrange my bedroom all the time. I would like completely like move around the furniture, everything. And I would do it a lot. And that's basically what you're doing in The Sims. So if you feel like you're not an incredible builder or anything, do a shell challenge because there's no pressure. There's no pressure at all. It's not a competition. It's just really fun to see what a bunch of people take from the exact same thing and change it into whatever. Like, I know for a fact with my shell challenge, this one that we're watching right now, I built a residence. I built a house. But somebody else might make a restaurant. They might make a store, an office. Who knows? <laughs> there are so many options and it's just always exciting to see what people come up with on their own. 
And if you feel like you're not a great builder, don't keep that from you from doing this shell challenge or any shell challenge because they're meant to be fun. So you might come up with something that's like a really cool idea, but you don't have to build anything really. You do have to come up with an interior floor plan if you want to. It could just be a gallery and maybe there's no interior walls. I would suggest putting a bathroom though. <laughs> but there, there's so many different things that you can come up with and I don't know. I really recommend it. Like for instance, my story, I started gameplay in The Sims and I did my Little Mermaid challenge. So I wrote this legacy challenge basically where I was going to learn how to play The Sims. And because I'm such a Little Mermaid fan, I I just figured if I just play through her storyline, how hard is that? And I'll just do that in The Sims. I took out Ursula because it didn't quite make sense. Like, how was I gonna, how was I gonna do that? It's not like Ariel would be actually living underwater. She would just be a mermaid. So I was like, I am just gonna do that. And I downloaded this incredible build off of the gallery for Atlantica Castle, King Triton's castle. Um, and then my boyfriend had created Prince Eric's castle for me. So I, I, I didn't really build anything on my own. However, I had done a few shell challenges and I had done little Simsy shell challenges. I had done Keen Emerald shell challenges and it was just really fun to create something where I just had to fit within the confines of something that they had already created and I didn't have to create something from scratch on my own. Like I could see these walls and say, ooh, that would make a really, really good house or I had to make like Santa's village or something or whatever. But the point was I didn't have to actually build anything. I was more just decorating. And that's a really good way to learn how to build in The Sims because you're learning how to build essentially from the interior out because you're generally not touching the exterior walls. That's kind of the whole point of a shell challenge. So I feel like it's a good starting point. So again, if you're not a great builder, just try it. Just try it. It's always really fun. I didn't actually start building anything of my own until I started my second legacy challenge, which I'm currently playing through over on Twitch. Um, and actually right now is the perfect time to come and see what's going on because we've only recently started generation five and we're playing with spellcasters. It is way too much fun. I did not expect to like spellcasters anywhere near as much as I am. But I'm I'm loving them. I love the skill tree. I love I love learning potions. It's it's just so exciting. <laughs> and my sim, in addition to being a spellcaster, is also a paranormal investigator, and that's been very exciting too. But the whole thing is just I don't know. It's just really fun today on stream. Which, if you're watching this on Wednesday when this was posted, it would have been yesterday. We <laughs> we basically had moved in the grandparents into our house, and it's always like very I don't know. It's always very emotional at the end of a generation because you're you're like moving them in or you're no longer playing with them, and it's. I don't know. It's always just emotional. But today it was super emotional because we were essentially saying goodbye to my Generation 4 Sims house. And it was my, I think, honestly, I think it was my favorite build I've ever built in The Sims. And it was a Cape Cod style house in Brindleton Bay. And I don't know, I'm just really proud of that one. I, I think I really, really did a good job. <laughs> so it was really hard to like officially say goodbye to it. Actually, what's very interesting is this lot that I'm building on right now is actually across the street from the lot that we lived on with my generation four sim. And I'm kicking myself because it would have been amazing to put this lot right across the street. But I, I didn't start building in The Sims until I started this legacy challenge. I built my founder's house, which was, I think, shortly after Growing Together was released. And I built a craftsman. It was very, very cute. It was not great. 
And I learned a lot since then, like learned a lot. There were a lot of things that just looked really off with that build. And that's exactly what I mean. Like you, you, everyone starts somewhere. Everyone starts somewhere. And again, it might not be your thing, but who knows? It might be, maybe you're really into it. I didn't know that I was gonna be as into building as I am. And actually something that might inspire you a little bit is I actually applied to and got into the builder games this past season, season five, it was a world tour. I do have a playlist on my channel that you can see all of my submissions for that, but I made it all the way through and I didn't make it to the last round, but I made it that far <laughs> from somebody who did not have a lot of confidence building. Honestly, I still don't really have a lot of confidence building, but I, I don't know. I had a lot of fun with it. And I think that's the best part about building in The Sims is having fun and trying to figure out what you can do, what you like, what things could look like. Could this be cool if I try it this way? Like, you never know. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll take inspiration from actual buildings or I'll look at house builds or floor plans online and then try to recreate them or make something inspired by that. And I don't know. That's, that's kind of my process. It's, it's been really fun. But yeah, that is basically what we have been doing with this shell challenge. But again, this shell challenge, it is very exciting. I'll just read the rules to you here. You basically download the lot off the gallery. And again, my EAID is just Technicolor. And you turn it into whatever you want. You can make a house, a restaurant, a cafe, whatever you want. You can change the wall height, use foundations, fencing, half walls, landscaping platforms, and roofs. There's no CC allowed, so you can't use any custom content, but tool, the tool mod and red shelf mod are totally allowed. Just don't touch my walls. And by that, I mean the exterior walls that you have, just don't touch them. <laughs> Obviously you can paint them, you can put wallpaper, whatever you want. You can make them brick, you could do whatever. Just don't change them in any way. So you could change the wall height, but you can't put walls in front of them or extend them in any way. Just don't, don't touch them. You can't add new exterior walls. You can't change my walls. You can't turn them into fences, but pretty much everything else is fair game. Then all you have to do is just when you're finished, upload to the gallery using the hashtag tech for shell, and then come to my stream on May 4th to see a tour. I'm actually really excited for this one. Also because at this point I have a lot of packs. <laughs> I don't have all of the packs, unfortunately. I want all of the packs, um, but I don't have everything. If you would like to see all of the pack restrictions, you definitely can over on my social media. Specifically on Instagram, I have it posted. It's also in my Discord if you're already in the Discord. However, I'll just quickly read through them here. These are all the packs that you can use for this shell challenge. So if you have these packs and you would like to use them, use these. The only reason why I'm saying this is because if you use a pack or a kit that I don't have, when I do tour it, I won't see whatever you used. So for expansion packs, you can use Get to Work, Get Together, City Living, Cats and Dogs, Seasons, Get Famous, Island Living, Discover University, Eco Lifestyle, Snowy Escape, Cottage Living, High School Years, Growing Together, Horse Ranch, and For Rent. For game packs, you can use Spa Day, Dine Out, Vampires, Parenthood, Jungle Adventure, Strangerville, Realm of Magic, Dream Home Decorator, My Wedding Stories, and Werewolves. For stuff packs, you're allowed to use Luxury Party, Movie Hangout, Romantic Garden, Kids Room, Backyard, Laundry Day, My First Pet, Mosquito, <laughs> Tiny Living, Nifty Knitting, Paranormal, Home Chef Hustle, and Crystal Creations. And for kits, you can use Courtyard Oasis, Industrial Loft, Blooming Rooms, Decor to the Max, Little Campers, Desert Lux, Everyday Clutter, Greenhouse Haven, Book Nook, Modern Lux, and Castle Estate. Also, I don't know what is coming in the new kits, but you are technically allowed to use those. <laughs> I guess I'll have to let everyone know that those will be allowed. Like I'll, I'll let you use those because, well, anyway, the two kits that are coming out, they'll actually come out tomorrow if you're watching this on Wednesday. 
Uh, but we're getting two new kits, Urban Homage and Party Essentials. And those will be allowed to use because I, again, speaking about not really being a confident builder, uh, last November, I was actually, my application was accepted to join the EA Creator Network. And basically what that means is I can join opportunities where I can receive packs and kits for free. Um, and in exchange, I just have to make some content for it. So I'm not being paid in any way. I am basically just making content with a pack that I was given for free. So it's very exciting because because of opportunities like this, I can also give things away. So if you are around, not tomorrow, but next Tuesday on April 23rd, I will be giving away those two new kits. So be sure to be there for that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's just like kind of exciting because I never expected to to ever be invited into the EA Creator Network, but I submitted my application and they sent me an invitation. So it was actually actually kind of cool. So I do think that my builds, which I've been posting on YouTube, is kind of what maybe made me a viable candidate for that. I feel like I had been doing content on Twitch live streams, but I don't think it was like enough, if that makes sense. So I think the fact that I've been doing speed builds like this, maybe put a little edge over my application. I don't know, but it's still kind of exciting because again, I don't feel like I'm like super confident as a builder, but it's just exciting to build. I find it really fun. So I've definitely grown. I've definitely grown. Also, I have some life updates for you. <laughs> Uh, you might not be interested in this, but I feel like during my speed builds is kind of when I get to catch up with my YouTube audience a little bit. Obviously, I stream pretty much every single day except for Wednesdays and Sundays over on Twitch. But over here on YouTube, where I feel like I don't necessarily have the exact same audience members, it's, I don't know, it's our little time to catch up. <laughs> so something that has been going on in my life lately is the fact that tomorrow on Wednesday, I actually have the dentist. So maybe by the time you're watching this, I could be in the dentist chair. <laughs> I'm actually getting a crown, not this kind, <laughs> the kind in your mouth because, and I think it's like my second or third crown, which is kind of awful. So I don't remember exactly what happened, but my dentist said I was going to need a crown and then they did all of the work and then they put in a temporary and then basically my birthday happened in March and I have just been so busy and now finally I'm able to go in. But I'm a little nervous because the temporary that they put in is cracked. I don't want to show you. That's like super gross, but the tooth itself can sort of like, I don't know, move around. Not not the tooth, but like, I guess part, I guess a part that chipped off kind of can like wiggle around and it's the most annoying thing because it'll get I don't know it's just like really annoying you probably don't want to hear about this I don't even know why I'm sharing it <laughs> but but that's basically what's going on and I cannot wait to go to the dentist tomorrow just to get it fixed I'm also because I have anxiety a little freaked out that it's a completely different tooth and if that's the case I might cry <laughs> I might just cry. I don't like going to the dentist. I think it's like very intense. It's not, it's not for me. I don't, I don't love it. I also feel like every single time that I've gone to the dentist most recently, I've always ended up gone, like I'll go there and then they'll find something else that's wrong. So it's like, oh, well now you have a cavity. So we'll have to fill that. So make another appointment. And then you go that on one and then there's another cavity or there's, there's a crown that you need. There's always something. And I'm just, over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I've also been getting into music again. That's probably like a very weird thing to say, but I feel like lately I've been listening to the same albums or artists just over and over and over again and not really having a problem with that, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like I could listen to the same album on repeat to the point where my boyfriend is like, okay, enough already. And one of my friends actually made me a playlist and I got really into it. And I started, I don't know, branching out and listening to some new artists. Actually, 
this friend just sent me a song by Chapel Roan. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I am obsessed. The song is called Good Luck Babe and it's on repeat. And what's really funny is I feel like everyone is starting to discover this song and it's gaining popularity. So it's, it's kind of cool to have started listening to it like a little bit before that. <laughs> So if you're that friend, thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you for all of the playlists that you've sent me. This friend, we have been doing this since I was in high school. We, we actually met when we were both in high school. And this friend would make a playlist for me. And then I would create the cover art. And it was just always fun. I feel like I've fallen off the bandwagon. And I have no idea how many cover arts... I might owe them, but it's it's just always been, it's just been always really fun. It's like exciting to be listening to the music and then creating something as the cover for it, if that makes sense. I've, I've just been very into it. And something that has been very exciting for me is listening to this music, especially while I'm building and not listening to like a Broadway soundtrack, um, has been just very inspiring. It's like kind of giving me like, completely different ideas than I normally would have had. I don't know if that's a result of the actual music, but it's been fun discovering artists or artists that I've listened to in the past have new music. I don't know. It's just been very exciting. So I've also been listening to a lot of the cores. I've been getting very into them. Also Chapel Roan and Jude York, who I actually had found on TikTok, who's like so talented. There's, there's just, I don't know. It's just very exciting. I also went on a walk with this friend. <laughs> I went on a walk last week with this friend and I got such an awful blister. <laughs> and I knew, I knew it was going to happen. I normally wear these like very soft fabric sneakers and they are the most comfortable sneakers to walk in. But I decided not to use them and I decided to to wear a completely different pair and I said it's gonna it's gonna give me a blister or something and it's gonna go bad and I'm gonna regret this but it was raining and I really didn't want the other sneakers to be all soaking wet and then me to be walking in wet socks so I said whatever and then got a blister like halfway through walking and I was just like whatever I'm just gonna go for the walk and then I'll be home and it'll be fine um and then when I was home I think it was like a day or two later I absentmindedly just like brushed my foot against a table and sliced the blister clean off. Do you know how painful that is? <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, my boyfriend's like, what's wrong with you? And it, it's been pretty painful since, but not as painful as I would have expected. I think slicing it clean off might've been the best thing that I could have done for it. Even though they say, don't do that. They basically say like, even if it's like hanging off, like leave it. Cause it's, kind of the best thing that you can do but I don't know I was in I was in so much pain though but what is like really 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 nice this friend that I've been going on walks with they just started dating this new person and they they've been going through a lot of like personal growth and stuff like that most recently but they have basically been recounting this dating experience to me and it is honestly like so inspiring it's so sweet i think they're falling in love <laughs> and it's like giving me life it is like so sweet and it's just i don't know i I'm, I'm like very excited for them so i don't know if you haven't if you haven't checked in with your friends lately go go on a walk go check in with them go facetime them or something because you never know what's going on and you know it it could be nice it could be nice so it's it's just been it's just been really sweet back to this build though this house i went back and forth on the floor plan for the longest time i actually almost had the front door you might have seen it during this speed build i moved the front door and that like main window in the front i moved them like opposite multiple times i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do and i wanted to do something different and then chat was kind of like this is not good don't do it <laughs> and i'm glad i listened to them because i feel like the entry would have been really weird because the entry at this point the entry that i was thinking of making is now the office and i don't think it would have looked good i i'm very glad that i went with what they said to do but I 
I don't know. I knew that I wanted the left-hand side to be the kitchen. And then kind of like where the tower is, I was going to have the like eaten kitchen or dining room there. I knew that I wanted to do that, but I really wasn't sure what to do with the rest of it. And it all kind of came together. I figure, I figured that once I put the staircase, that that would kind of set the tone for the rest of the floor plan. And it really did. And it really worked out. I have like the office right to the right at the front door and then there's a little bathroom and then there's the back or side door to kind of get to the to the porch and to the yard and all that and then there's also like a little space for i think i have like a game table there but then the rest of the main area is kind of just like the living space and upstairs in that also like back tower piece there is like a little painting area, which that was kind of the last thing that I did. And I was very, very, very excited at how that was coming together. I was like, oh, wait, what if I make like a little painting studio that's like kind of open by, by the stairs? Because everything else I felt like would have prevented The Sims from being able to like get up and down the stairs. So I thought this was just like perfect. And then there's another like main bathroom for everyone and then there's the kids room and then there's the primary bedroom and bathroom but there's also like that little balcony space i was just i was just like totally totally into it and then in the backyard i decided that i was going to put a pool i was going to put a grill i was going to put like a little eating space and i feel like it all really came together i i think this is probably something that I could have done with my Generation 4 Sims house, but I don't know. I gave them a deck and then after that I was kind of like, I'm done, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> but the problem is whenever you're doing something for your legacy challenge, because you have restrictions with the amount of money that you have, um, cause I'm not cheating for money or anything like that. My legacy challenge, you're kind of stuck. So it's, it could be a little bit intense. <laughs> it could be a little bit intense. I think I'm getting to the point where for my Sims in my legacy challenge, I'm getting to the point where there's going to be more money coming in, but then it also sucks. Cause then later on, there's going to be one generation where we're kind of cut off and then we're going to have to start all over. <laughs> But I don't know. I think that'll also be very exciting for the gameplay, but we'll see. We'll see. But with this house, I decided the while I was building the primary bedroom, I was envisioning two female sims. So a lesbian couple and obviously they're very crafty. They're very artistic and they have two envisioning twin daughters. But I don't know. I had a lot of fun making the kids room because I never really go all out in kids rooms and I went all out in this one. And I decided one was kind of going to be like the goody goody two shoes kid. And the other one was kind of going to be like the more like rambunctious kid. And I don't know if you can see or decide like which is which by looking at it but i i don't know i had like the best time designing that room i i feel like oh that's probably the best kids room i've ever designed and now i want to do another kids room and it's really funny because right now in my legacy challenge <sighs> our generation six sim has been born and they're actually a toddler now i have no idea for how much longer but she there's really nothing in her room <laughs> I have one, like, from the kid stuff pack, I have one thing for her, um, but she's got her bed, she's got a toddler body. We actually still have the bassinet. <laughs> like, I, I kind of just, like, gave up, and I was like, we're just gonna leave it like this for a little bit, because I don't know what else to do. But we're really gonna have to start giving her an actual bedroom and decide what we want to do. I feel like I probably won't really even attempt it until she's a child, which I know as she's an adult, I'll probably regret having not spent more time with her because that's what I've done. That's what I've done with the past two generations. <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I just keep getting stuck in the same patterns and I'm just not doing anything with those Sims. And then I end up falling in love with them as time goes on. But I don't know. I, I'm kind of... I'm kind of at a newer point in this generation. So if you want to swing by, if you want to check it out again, I stream Tuesday and Thursday mornings. I start at 10 a.m. Eastern time and we we kind of chat for a little bit. Then we play some some word pregames. 
And then we get into The Sims and it's usually very chill. It's very fun. And that's when you can kind of see a lot of this. I don't always build while I'm streaming The Sims, but I do occasionally. So if building's more your vibe, we probably do that more here. But if gameplay is more your style or you want to see some of the builds that I've made, you could see in previous The Sims playlist, you could see the builds that I've done for the Legacy Challenge, but you can see how we're living in them now. And you can see all also the new things that we've added because we we just moved in my generation for Sim, Luella Wyndham and her husband and their two pets. We've moved into my generation five Sims house. Oh, it's a lot going on. And there's a lot that I still have to put out. I was building for a long time today and then I was just like, I want to get into gameplay. So I don't know, I might do more either on Thursday stream or maybe off stream. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, that's, that's basically what has been going on. So again, if you would like to attempt this shell challenge, I would love to see what you come up with. I don't think it's a particularly difficult shell, although <laughs> a lot of people have been complaining about the roofing. I feel like I didn't struggle with the roofing that much, but if, if you would like to join again, you can find it on the gallery. My EA ID is just Technicolor, or you can find it with the hashtag tech first shell and it's due on May 4th. So I would love, love to see what you come up with, but why don't we pop into the game and I can give you a little bit of a tour because I know speed builds, it's kind of like zipping around like crazy and it could be a little hard to see everything. So why don't we pop in and we could just look at everything. So just to remind you, this is the shell that we started off with. And this is what I came up with. So I really love the landscaping and overall how this turned out. But to kind of show you everything that it is, there is a little porch area here. And that leads out into the backyard. But on the main floor, you come in and here is the main living space. There is a bathroom off to the right and then a little office space. Over here is the Eaton kitchen. And then obviously this is that little game space, but you can go upstairs and here is that little like artist studio. There is another bathroom over here. Then here's the kids room. And then this hallway leads into the primary bedroom, which has its own ensuite. And then there is a balcony space outside with stairs that lead into the backyard. And that, my friends, is basically the entire build. So again, if you try this out, I would love to see what you come up with. Be sure to add it to the gallery. And if you want to see a tour, be sure to come to my stream on May 4th. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing and liking this video. And I will catch you in the next video or maybe on my Twitch streams. Bye bye.